Wow. <laughs> I'm planning a solo road trip from Vancouver, Canada to Death Valley in California. I've never taken my camper van across the Canadian border and I'm scared. I'm surprisingly scared to travel into America. There are three main reasons. Maybe my tips for overcoming my fear of traveling solo in a camper van will help you overcome your own fears. Tip number one, is to stop talking down to yourself. What I'm doing to myself is saying stuff like, you, you're you 52 years old, so it's not like you're a teenager. You have traveled all over the world practically. You lived in Africa for three years. You've already been traveling in your camper van doing solo road trips. What is wrong with you? Why are you so scared to just travel? It's only like 20,000 kilometers to go to Death Valley. Don't do this. Don't talk to yourself like that. It is not only unhelpful, it actually makes everything worse. Tip two is to try and be specific about why you're afraid. So instead of having a vague, general, I'm just scared to go to America. Why am I so worried about driving through Nevada and California on my own in a camper van with British Columbia license plates? I think it's because of Thelma and Louise. Maybe I've been listening to the news too much about some not so good things that are happening in America, but even just saying that helps. It helps to get specific about my fears and saying them out loud helps me see that I really have no rational reason. It really is just some sort of vague memory of Thelma and Louise driving their, not a camper van, driving their Cadillac or whatever it was over the cliff into the Grand Canyon and that was in Arizona, which is really close to Nevada, but it's not gonna be me. Just getting specific can be really helpful. Tip three. I'm of course worried about the travel health restrictions. What if they don't let me into America? What if they don't let me back home into Canada? I have my vaccinations. I'm prepared to show my proof of vaccination. Do I need to? I have no idea. I know that if I check the rules now, today, it could be completely different in two hours from now. So there's not really too much point in trying to figure out exactly how I'm gonna get across the border or if I'll even have a problem but I can do as much research as I can now and just sort of hold my plans loosely and go with the flow and see what happens. Tip number four for feeling safe and comfortable on a solo road trip is to look at your past trips if you've traveled before. And if you're a woman over 50 in a camper van, like me, probably you've done at least a little bit of traveling in your past. When I look back at my previous trips, I've never had a problem. Traveling in Nepal, Dubai, Hong Kong, New York City twice by myself. So why am I so scared this time? Part of the problem is that I've never had a problem traveling. I almost feel like <laughs> my number's up. One of these days, I'm gonna have a problem traveling because it's gonna happen. Chances are I'm gonna at least get a flat tire and chances are somebody's gonna help me fix the flat and I'm just gonna motor right on along. Maybe I'll wear a disguise. A disguise so I look 25 years older. Because you know, if I'm a 75 year old woman, no one's gonna wanna hurt me. Tip number five is to listen to Gary Zukov. A young couple were visiting Vermont. They saw this old man rocking on his front porch and they decided to stop. They were thinking about moving to this town. And they said, what are the people like here? And the old man said, what are the people like where you live? And they said, they keep to themselves, not too friendly. They don't care for others. And the old man said, people here are like that too. Two weeks later, another couple came to the same old man and asked him the same question. What are people like? Here. And the old man said, what are people like where you live? And they said, well, they're kind, generous, care for one another, supportive. And the old man said, people here are much like that too. So if I go to America thinking that people are going to try and hurt me, that they're going to steal my tires or my hubcaps that they're gonna not want me there because of the pandemic i'm kind of worried about that death valley maybe that's the reason i'm afraid if i go and i expect bad things to happen chances are bad things might happen but if i go expecting to meet kind friendly warm welcoming people californians nevadans washingtonians oregonians then that's what i'll meet i'm actually now kind of excited to go on this road trip to california i hope my tips have helped you think a little bit about not being afraid of going on a solo camper van road trip take good care of yourself because you are worth taking good care of Mwah. The dog didn't bark once.